Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we got an odd little product from Synology to check out today. This is called the B Drive, and on the surface it looks like just your run-of-the-mill external solid-state drive, which it sort of is, but there's a software layer on here that adds data synchronization capabilities, backup capabilities, mobile backup capabilities, and even a feature where you can kind of airdrop files from a phone, whether it's Android or iOS, to a PC, including doing so over the internet. So lots of neat little features on this one, and I'll leave it to you to decide if this is something that'll be helpful in your workflow. Now, I do wanna let you know before we get into this that Synology provided this to the channel free of charge for this review. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded. They do occasionally sponsor videos here on the channel. I do some tutorial videos for Synology from time to time, but they are not sponsoring this video and all of the opinions you're about to hear are mine. So let's get into it now and see what this little drive is all about. Now the price point on this comes in at about $120 for the one terabyte version and $199 for the two terabyte. I think the two terabyte one is probably the one to look at if you're interested in this because you will be backing up a lot of files to it and I think the more capacity you can muster the better. Now from a hardware standpoint, this is really simple. It's just got a single USB Type-C connector on it. It'll run at 3.1 Gen 2 speeds, meaning it can do up to 10 gigabits per second over its USB cable. There is an adapter in the box if you have just a USB-A connector on the other side. And you get a nifty little activity light here at the top, which is actually something we don't see too often on these portable drives. This will mount like a regular drive, so you don't always have to use the software if you don't want to but it will have special folders for the sorts of things that it does through its software layer. We're not gonna to spend too much time on performance, but if you're curious, this is what it came in at when I ran a crystal disk mark test. So not all that fast compared to some of the other ones that we've looked at from Samsung and WD and others, but it's adequate, I think, for what people might do with this drive and the random reads and writes were not bad on it. But again, this is not something that's going to be a general purpose drive, but rather one really focused around the Synology software. So let's take a look and see what that software is all about and what it does. All right, so I've got the software here running on this HP Dragonfly PC that we're going to be reviewing in a couple of days here on the channel. And this is the homepage of the B Drive app. Now, in addition to doing some of the software functions you're about to see, this does work as a traditional solid state drive. So you can just drag files onto it, create folders and do all that stuff. But there are specialty folders here that the software is going to use to store its backups and file transfers. So you see B drive here, B drop and mobile and PC backup. And I'll get to what all of those things mean here in a minute. But let's minimize this and look at the first function, which is computer backup. Now I've got a backup already configured on this PC, and there's not a lot of complexity to this backup process, which might be a good thing for users that don't want to deal with anything complicated. So right now what it's doing is it's keeping an eye on the folders that I have specified that I want backed up, and any time a file changes inside of one of those folders, it will update the backup automatically in the background, almost in real time. And you can go in here, of course, and click on edit and change what folders get backed up. So I could add, for example, my contact folder maybe, and maybe my save games here, and then click on confirm, and that will add those to the backup. Now, if I create folders within a folder that's being backed up already, it will grab that one too. And of course, you can jump in and change how uh, those folders get backed up in future iterations. You'll also see here in my advanced settings that I have file versions enabled. So what it will do is it'll keep a maximum of five versions of each file as it's changed. And it will also archive deleted files too. So if I delete something by accident, it's going to get moved into a folder that resides on the B drive here so that I can pull it back later. One issue with the backup here is that there does not appear to be at the moment I'm recording this video any way to encrypt this backup. So what you get essentially is a bunch of files in a folder that you can access on any computer you plug the drive into. And that is true of all of the other functions on the drive. So if you've got something really mission critical, this is probably not something for you, but it's really kind of geared towards a consumer use case where perhaps the encryption of the files isn't all that important. Now what's lacking here is a restoration process. So if you want to get the files back, 
what you have to do is go over to the B drive, navigate to your PC backup, look for the backup that you created here, and then navigate the file structure to copy those files back onto your computer. So it's a very basic process here. And I think what it's really about is just getting some peace of mind that the files that you have backed up are very easily accessible to the user should they need to get at them in the future. Now for files that you have deleted, what you can do is go into the open archive files area here. And if you go to PC backup, you'll see that I deleted a couple of files from my desktop computer. And what it does is it keeps them in the folder in which they were originally located in. So you will have those files backed up even after they were deleted from the main hard drive here, provided the backup is looking at that folder. So a very basic backup here, nowhere near as complex as what they offer on their network attached storage products. But if you're looking for something simple, this is simple. Now you can back up multiple computers provided you disconnect the drive and plug it into another one and install the B drive software on it. And every computer will have its backup live in its own folder here inside of the PC backup folder on the B drive. Now just remember though that all of those backups are unencrypted. So if you've got a bunch of computers backed up to this thing with sensitive information, if somebody walks off with the drive, they're gonna get very easy access to those files. Let's take a look now at its next feature, which is file synchronization. Now file synchronization is located right here below the computer backup in the application. And by default, when you create the file sync for the first time is that it will create a folder on your computer inside of your home directory called B drive. And then everything that gets put in that folder will synchronize to your B drive here. And in this case, it's got a folder called B drive. Now the scenario that they envision for this is that you are at your office during the day, you're working on files on your work computer. And then when you are ready to leave for the day, you detach your B drive and bring it home with you. And all the files that are on the B drive can be accessed and edited and changed and updated and having maybe new files added to the folder. And then when you get back to the office and plug it back in, this will synchronize back to your office computer. So in some ways, it's kind of like a cloud synchronization without the cloud, basically what we call a sneaker net, where the drive is the cloud essentially that is following you around. Unfortunately though, just like the backup scenario, the files are not encrypted. But if you wanted to have files stored in a way that doesn't involve a cloud provider, this is probably the best way you can do it because it does synchronize quite well between the two uh, sources here. Now you can add additional syncs and there are different things you can have them do. So I'm gonna set up a custom one here and click on next. And what I'm gonna do now is go and find my downloads folder here. And I'm just gonna synchronize that folder to a downloads folder that I previously created on the B drive. You can also create a new folder by clicking here. And I'm gonna click on next here. And you have some advanced settings that you can apply here as well. So uh, one of the things you can do just like the backup is have file revisions. And I set mine to five. The default is no revision. So if you wanted to keep five versions of each file, you can do that. Every time you change it, it will store one as an archive that you can go back to if needed. You also have the option here to change the synchronization direction. So a backup is typically from the computer to the B drive, but you can also go from the B drive to the computer, or you can make it a full two-way synchronization where if a file is changed on the B drive, it will sync back to the computer and vice versa from the computer back to the B drive. You can also limit the file sizes that are synchronized. Perhaps you got some big media files that you don't want to include. You can just exclude them by size, but you can also exclude things by file extension or just by file name. And you can see here, they've got a couple of uh, basically built in temp files that they are ignoring. And of course you could add more to the mix if you want. So we're gonna click on confirm here and click on sync now. And now we have set up that sync and you can set up a bunch of these and have different uh, syncing strategies with each of them. Now it handles deleted files very similar to how the backup works. So if we go back to our screen here and click on these dots and go to open archive files, it will take us to the files that we deleted. Now before we were in the PC backup folder for the backup deleted files, but on the sync side, it will save them in the folder name that is being synced, in this case, that B drive folder. 
And as you can see here, I deleted my secret plans for the Death Star earlier, but the file is safely preserved here on the B drive because it moved it over to that folder when it detected a deletion on the desktop. Now, as far as revisions are concerned, uh, what you do is browse over to the directory where you are syncing. As you can see here, we're on my B drive folder on my computer. And I've been making revisions to this text document here. And on Windows 11, you have to go over to uh, right click on the file first and then select show more options. And then you'll have an option here to browse previous versions. And this is through the uh, B drive software. And if I click on it, what you'll see here is that I've got four different revisions of the file and the date in which those revisions were made. So if I wanted to restore a prior version, I can click on download here. And what it's going to do is give me a new version of that file that I can download. So it's not going to overwrite the one that you are looking at, but it'll give you the ability to pull back that revision that it has stored for safekeeping. And again, we configured this one to store five revisions of a file. Now, the last thing to take a look at here is mobile transfer, which allows you to transfer files and photos from your mobile phones, either an iPhone here or an Android phone, back to the computer where you've got the software running and the drive attached. And to access that, you go over here to mobile transfer. And what you'll see on here are the phones that I currently have paired up with my B drive software. I have my Google Pixel Fold phone, which in full disclosure came in free of charge from Google for a review we did recently. And I have my iPhone 14 Pro here that is also syncing up. And there are two things you can do with your phone. One is back up your photo library, including the videos. And you can also use something called B-Drop to very quickly get files and photos off your phone and onto your computer. And I'm going to show you both of those real quick here. Now, in order to get the mobile phone features to work, you have to download an app on your phone. On Android, you can find the app in the Google Play Store. If you have an Amazon Fire tablet, you also have the option for going to Synology directly and downloading the APK of the app that you can install directly. And that's one thing Synology has been doing for many years now is offering direct downloads of all of their Android apps. On the iPhone, you do have to download it through the App Store because at the moment, that's the only way you can get iPhone apps to download. Now, the iPhone has some additional options that are not currently on the Android version, which is that you can set the type of backup to be made when the iPhone connects. So I've got mine set to Originals, which will send over the HEIC files but you can also have it convert to JPEG to make those images more compatible. I just leave mine on originals, that's my preference, but of course you can set it up any which way you like. And you also have the option when you set this up to back up your entire photo library from the get-go, or you can have it just back up the new photos since the time you installed the app. And I went with just the new ones just because I have so many photos for many years on my iPhone and iCloud directory. I didn't want to fill the drive up with all of the old stuff. So figure it out for yourself. You can get it up and running very quickly. And then after that, it will back up automatically whenever it's on the same network as your computer with the B drive attached. Now you also have the option to decide whether or not you want to back up videos. And that option is available on both platforms. You're also going to see here a free up space button. And what this will do is delete the photos and videos on your phone that were successfully backed up to the B drive but it won't do that unless you push the button. So it's not something that will fire off automatically. Now back on the computer, those files will get stored in the mobile backup folder on the B drive. And if we jump over here to my Pixel phone, you can see that it maintains the file structure from Android. And I've got all of the pictures that are currently on that device backed up into that directory. And of course, these are not encrypted like the other backups that we talked about earlier and you can very easily integrate them into other things. Let's take a look now at the B drop functionality, which I think is pretty cool. Now on the bottom of the B drive app here, you will see that we've got a little paper airplane icon. And if I tap on that, I've got the option to send photos, files, or access the phone's camera. I'm gonna select files though, and what it will do is pull up the Apple file system. 
And in here, I've got a document for the secret Death Star plans. And if I tap on that and click on Open here, what it will do is it will toss that over to the computer. And as you can see here, the computer pulled up the image here automatically and we can start reviewing our plans. Now this is a one-way transit. I can't unfortunately send files from the computer back to the phone, but the other way here works great. And if you've got an Android phone, you can do the very same thing. And this is kind of like an airdrop style feature. What's really cool about this though, is that if you are away from home, it works over the internet also. So I was out walking my dog earlier and I was able to send some photos back to the computer when I was not connected to the local network. That is the only thing that works over the internet with this product. Everything else requires a local connection, including the photo backup, but I did think that was pretty cool. And likewise, you can send photos over the same way, and we can also access the camera too. So there's lots of different things that you can do here uh, with this dropping functionality. And this is actually a really cool way to get files from an iPhone over to a Windows computer quite easily here. They just pop right up almost immediately. And the files will be stored on the B drive once they are sent. And of course, there's a folder for that here called B drop. And that's where all your drop files will live. So overall, this is a very different and a very unexpected product from Synology. It very much feels like the minimally viable product. And I have a feeling they're going to look and see how people are using it and then maybe make software revisions down the line. The biggest issue that I see with it at the moment is that there is no encryption option for the data. That's a feature that is on most of the name brand portable solid state devices out there. Some of them like Samsung's even have a fingerprint reader on them too. This one has no means of encrypting it at least right now. And I think that's something they should look at adding as soon as possible because that would give them some feature parity with some of the other drives on the market. But I like the software quite a bit. I like the simplicity here because I think for someone that doesn't want to use a cloud syncing service, this makes a lot of sense. Whatever you change on here is going to get synced up with whatever you plug it into. And I do think there is some great utility for that. And of course, the backups happen immediately and in the background, just as long as the drive is plugged in and the software is running, it kind of takes care of everything for you. And this makes it something that might be good for the less tech savvy in your life to just make sure you've got that added peace of mind and it will also back up their phones and do some of the other things that we covered here in the review. So all in, an interesting product, not something I would use day to day, but I do have people in my life that might. And I think what we're gonna see with this over time are some significant software updates because most of this product is software. So as those updates happen, we'll come back and do some follow-ups on this. But right now it feels very minimal. It doesn't even have a restore process for its backed up files. So I think we'll be seeing more coming down the line in this uh, Beehive Drive line in the near future. So stay tuned. We're going to have more on this. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Logic KGR, Tom Albrecht, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.